What's up everybody? Welcome to another episode of the greatest vlog in the world. My name is Jeff, your favorite tour guide in Madeira. And today we are in Nuns Valley of all places. Well, actually we're in Eira do Cerrado, which is just above Nuns Valley. And we're talking about Madeira wine, all right? It's Catemba September, which is our uh, new favorite month at Hit The Road. We have decided that we haven't done enough videos about wine. So we're going to be talking about wine the whole month and we're going to get into why it's called Katemba September and all that kind of stuff. And most of you are thinking, well at least most of you who know about Madeira are thinking what the hell is Jeff doing in Nuns Valley talking about Madeira wine. Uh, so you're going to have to stay tuned for that. We're going to get into that. But of course we had one of my favorite places, Eira dos Gado, one of the best viewpoints in Madeira. It's nice and quiet and uh, this is how we like it of course so uh, yeah we're gonna get Andrea to shoot some cool shots of the old roads and the town and all of that kind of stuff and then we're gonna get into this video and I uh, hope you guys enjoy it so yeah let's uh, let's do this <laughs> It is getting cooler. We're in the first week of September and we're about a thousand meters up here, almost at the top there is a thousand meters. We don't have time to show you that, so we're gonna move on. But it is getting cooler, autumn is around the corner and you can already see some clouds. It does feel a little bit chillier down here. In Funchal it's perfect and people on the beach, but out here it's a little bit cooler. So if you're coming now, please keep that in mind. In the next few months it's gonna be cooler in the mountains. We're gonna get into Nuns Valley uh, later on in this vlog, thankfully we've got so much to show you guys that you know we do have time to do that. So go ahead and like and subscribe and tell all your friends about uh, Madeira because there's going to be loads that we're going to show you. So we're going to go out to the bar and we're going to get something that we need for today and we're going to teach you guys a little bit about Madeira wine and where it started the whole month. I'm really super excited about uh, Katemba September and let's get into it. So. Follow me. This is one of my favorite books in Madeira or about Madeira, should I say. Um, I've already spoken about this book in one of our past vlogs. But uh, for those of you who don't remember, the, the book is called Madeira by Alex Liddell and it's all about Madeira wine uh, and the evolution of Madeira wine, uh, all about the history of it. And what I love so much about this book and about the, the history of Madeira wine in general, obrigado, oh, we got some snacks. What I love about the history of Madeira wine is that it, there's so much history uh, about the island because the island was so dependent on Madeira, uh, on the wine that everything that happened in Madeira wine had consequences on the island and even worldwide really. So there's a lot of history on here, not only about wine, uh, but also about Madeira. So for those of you who are readers, unfortunately I've been more of a reader than I have in the past. I've been more of a reader in the past than I am now, but uh, I will be rereading this book because we've got some Madeira wine stuff coming, not only this month, but in the future. And I wanted to tell you a little story uh, that had to do with this that is in front of us, uh, which is what we call Jinja, Jinjinha, uh, and Nuns Valley is very well known for its Jinjinha, the cherry liqueur. So before we get into that, let's have a little sip, let's try some uh, honey cake, and then I'm gonna tell you uh, one of my favorite stories about Madeira wine and Jinjinha, or cherries, um, which I'm sure you guys are gonna love. So. Let's have a little sip, let's do a little toast. So we've got your favorite uh, South African here explaining some fraud and increased regulation uh, in the market. Don't worry, I'm not into fraud, but uh, you know, I just find it funny. Anyway, um, so uh, straight out of the book, it says, yeah, the global demand for Madeira during the whole of the 18th century was greater than could be supplied from the best wines of the island alone. So basically in the 1700s, the 18th century, uh, Madeira wine was so famous uh, that they didn't have enough of it to sell. And basically what happened was that people used to start, that people started making fraudulent wine. Uh, it was considered at the time that 
the wines of the north side of the island uh, used to be inferior. But basically, just like very easily, what they used to do is that the growers uh, of the north used to add dark cherries or black cherries to the wine to make the wine darker so that it looked like the wine from the south so that they could hustle it into Funchal and sell it as Madeira wine. So the Senate at the time um, actually uh, made it not illegal, um, but they said that all the, the cherry trees in Madeira had to be grafted, all the dark cherry trees had to be grafted with red cherries uh, so that you couldn't have such a dark color so that they could stop uh, making fraudulent wine. So they made it, uh, they basically uh, created fines for people who had cherry trees uh, that were not uh, grafted with the young cherry. Uh, so basically it was illegal to have cherry trees in Madeira in the 18th century, uh, which I find very interesting, of course. Uh, and nowadays we've got the cherries uh, from uh, Nuns Valley, which we'll get into in another video. I didn't want to take you guys down to a local place to show local homemade cherries because some of you, you know, don't, uh, some of you called me a rat, a shibu, uh, and I'm not, I'm not a rat, you know, I'm not, uh, I'm not trying to, to get people into trouble. Uh, but there are homemade versions of this which are delicious and that we all love as Madeirans, all right? But for legal purposes, we bought this bottle. Uh, to show you what it is. We're gonna head off to Funchal next and we're gonna see uh, what they are mixing Madeira wine with nowadays uh, in the cocktail festival. So hopefully we make it in time, but if we don't, we'll keep you entertained anyway. Lots to see in this vlog and I hope you guys enjoyed this story. There's much more stories in this book and uh, this book has fascinated me quite a lot because I love Madeira wine, love the story of Madeira wine, love the story of Madeira and lots of my uh, stories have come from this book. So without any further ado, let's finish off our ginger and our honey cake and uh, let's get out of here. We're back at the wine festival in Funchal and they're doing a cocktail competition uh, which is organized by the organization of uh, Barmans in Madeira, How do you call the association, official association of Barmans in Madeira and this particular cocktail was made by a Mr. Marcio Rodriguez who I believe is the vice president of uh, the cocktail um, association so uh, that's going to be fun to have a chat with him after he's agreed to speak with us. Uh, he brought us this little cocktail which has cherry in it. So uh, we're in the, we're all in the right kind of vibe here. You know, it's got some cherry, some chocolate, some Madeiran rum, uh, and some Madeiran wine. I don't know everything. We'll have him explain exactly what it is. But it's time to taste. You wanna? Come on, we're so far away. She's so far. She's running away from the camera, baby. Let's see if this one is better than the Brisa Katemba you tried last last uh, week. It's good? It is good. Alright, let's see, let's see the moment of truth. If you can do a better job than I can, eh? Probably. Uh, oh wow. Wow. Very complex. There's a lot of a lot of little taste. I can taste the rum, I can taste the cherry, I can taste the chocolate. It's pretty cool. Tanya, you want to try? Yeah. Totally. you. Totally you going to steal the bottle. It's not part of... What, what bottle? There was no bottle here. <laughs> Just kidding. We'll put it, we can't publicly steal. We're still, we're still in private. <laughs> also, again, just kidding. Just kidding. Should we leave? That one. Yeah. We're trying the next one. I don't know what this, I have absolutely no idea what is this, so I'm gonna try and be a little bit of a jury here and see if I can uh, determine what this is. Oh wow, very orangey, I like it. 
That's all I can taste is orange. It feels like you're silver. It's good. Mm. Marcio Rodriguez, Katia Costa. Yeah, I have no idea. It's really nice though. A lot of orange. I've seen a few people using Breeza orange, which uh, is pretty cool. I like it. As promised, we're here with Marcio Rodriguez. The vice president of the Association of Barmen in Madeira. I might have gotten that wrong earlier. I think I said the Association of Cocktails. Anyway, uh, thanks for speaking with us, uh, Marcio. Obrigado. Ganhaste segundo lugar. Sim, melhor que Estás... Feliz com isso? Super feliz. Acho que sim, não? É, é esforço de, de trabalho e dedicação e é sempre gratificante quando se esforça e se ganha alguma coisa. É muito bom. Vocês têm um bar no mercado, certo? Sim, temos o. o... No mercado dos lavradores, um, o barman chama-se... Onde a malta pode ir visitar? Sim, chama-se Barman Madeira Bar. Okay, temos uh, variedades de ponchas, temos cocktails, também temos algumas saladas, algumas santos para, para acompanhar as bebidas. As bebidas. É, é, é muito visitado pelos nossos turistas e os nossos madeirenses também. Diga-me uma coisa, estamos a falar de vinho aqui. Certo, certo. Um, o que é que é a sua perspectiva de, do, do vinho madeira como ingrediente? O que é que gostas, o que é que não gostas? Vai bem com o que é? O vinho de madeira, para trabalhar em coquetelaria, é preciso perceber o vinho de madeira. É preciso perceber o que é que encaixa naquela casta daquele vinho da de madeira. Depois... Então pode haver diferenças entre... Sim, sim, entre as yeah. diferentes castas, o seco, o meio seco, o doce e o meio doce. Existe mínima coisa em que se pode uh, conjugar com o vinho da vinho madeira. Eu hoje usei uh, licor de cereja, cherry brandy. Cherry Usei brandy. também licor de chocolate, Sim. liga muito bem com, com o vinho da madeira, o doce ou meio doce. Ah, okay. o, o figo também é um fruto que liga muito bem, frutos, frutos secos e depois de, depois de percebermos... Canela, talvez, tipo Sim, canela, spices. Sim, canela, yeah. não com todas as castas, mas com algumas também funciona muito bem. Okay. Impo, embora a canela é um pouco intensa, temos de ter cuidado na quantidade ao usar. O vinho da madeira, há uns anos atrás, era consumido somente, era, é, somente como o vinho do Porto, que era só, só o vinho madeira, pois. que era o clássico do vinho madeira após a refeição ou o aperitivo. Agora não, agora estamos a expandir os horizontes sobre o vinho madeira, porque o vinho madeira tem um potencial enorme que se consegue trabalhar e consegue-se fazer coisas maravilhosas. E, e esse é o nosso trabalho, é mostrar às pessoas o que é que uma bebida o que consegue fazer, o, que, o, que, o potencial que aquela bebida tem. Márcio, este mês estamos a expandir os nossos horizontes. Muito bem. E preciso da sua ajuda para a última, certeza, para a última certeza, certeza. pergunta. Um, estamos aí a tentar a criar um, um cocktail. Boa, boa. E não sei se você conhece este cocktail e peço desculpas já para pôr à frente uma câmera a perguntar isto, mas uh, você já tem um bocadinho de experiência com catemba? Catemba, já ouvi falar. Já ouvi falar. Já ouvi falar. Pronto, você vai, vai rir, mas a Catemba, a Catemba já agora vem, de, vem da Angola, falámos do último vídeo, mas também da África do Sul. Sim. A gente, quando a gente ia os, os festivais portugueses, tipo, há um que chama-se Lusito Land, uh, e há outros para aí na África do Sul, uh, que era vinho tinto com Coca-Cola. Sim. Por, uh, por mais louco que, que, que soa. E este mês estou a tentar aperfeiçoar a catemba. Sim. E não sei se o Márcio tinha uma, uma dica. Tenho, tenho uma dica. Uh, esse esse uh, cocktail ficaria muito bem fusionando fico, uh, ameixas. Ameixas? Ameixas com hortelã e fusionando bem. Ok. Juntar um pouco de vinho de madeira e um pouco de canela. Uau! Vou vai ter ficar, que escrever isto. Vai ficar. Ameixas, vinho de madeira. Uh, hortelã. Hortelã e qual era o outro que disseste? A canela. E canela. Com Coca-Cola e vinho tinto? Uau! Did you write that down? É Semana bom. passada experimentámos, foi muito simples, foi brisa maracujá com vinho branco. Se usar o maracujá fresco, com maracujá fresco não é doce, é ácido. Ah, pois, então vai. Ajuda a ligar, ajuda a ligar. Okay. This is me pretending to know what I'm talking about. <laughs> anyway, Márcio, muito obrigado. Obrigado. Parabéns. Obrigado. E uh, foi um prazer estar aqui. 
visited um, Nos. Yeah. According to food52.com, a Katemba is red wine and coke. So yes, this month we are discovering everything about Madeira wine, including red wine, table wines, all that kind of stuff, the fortified Madeira wines. And uh, we're mixing everything with coke just to give it our own little touch. And it says yeah, it is believed to have, so last week we mentioned it came from Angola. That was from a different site. From here, from food52.com, it says yeah, that it said believed to originated in Spain. Uh, and then it was reincarnated worldwide. In Argentina, they called it Jesus juice. In Chile, black vulture. And in South Africa, all right, Katemba. Uh, so yeah, and again, it makes awful wine well to drink which is not the case today because we actually have a pretty decent wine. So for today's uh, Katemba challenge, remember we're doing this every day, every, every vlog day in September, not every day, but every vlog day in September, we've got this wine called Beiju. And uh, I had a little look online and this is the winery that's by Canisal, where they're doing the Rosé wine, which is apparently um, award-winning wine. So, very excited to be learning something from uh, this uh, September Katemba or Katemba September, I believe we called it. So without any further ado, we're going to make ourselves our Katemba for this week. Uh, Beijo wines, very sorry for uh, mixing your beautiful wine uh, with Coke. The traditional um, way of making a Katemba, they say it's 50-50. That's more than 50-50. <laughs> Whatever. Coca-Cola. Again, sorry guys. <laughs> it's a boy. Just, sorry. It's a boy. It's a... Right, babe. Okay. Now, you have to try this one, which you've had before already. Huh? Mm -hmm. It's What do you think of this wine? Mm -hmm. Ebon. Ebon. Needs to breathe a bit, I think. Gets a little bit better. But drink it. All right, drink it. Not too much. Here we go. No, I'm out. No, We're making progress. Who's the winner? It's a pretty thing. She's ah. still... Ah, again. <laughs> well... I'm being aimed at. Maybe with the help of Marcio, we can uh, make a better Katember in uh, next week's video or the week after, maybe. So uh, we've got great, great plans for the Madeira Wine Festival. Don't worry, it's not going to be all in this place. You can find the program and all sorts of awesome information on the Visit Madeira website, right? It's really, really well structured. All the information is there. So that's where you can find it. Relevant links are in the description below. And my shoulder is getting better. I'm driving again. For those of you who don't know, I had a bit of an issue with my shoulder. But uh, what it is uh, doing for me is that it's giving me some time off. So I've been at home and I've been typing away and writing up and strategizing and planning. And finally, we're releasing new tours. Yes, we're releasing new tours at Hit The Road. And the first people are gonna be uh, notified of these tours are the people on our Patreon. So you have to join our Patreon account. For those of you who don't know, we have a Patreon service, right? That helps you come to Madeira and offers all sorts of awesome services by Hit The Road to make sure that your vacation or that you're moving here to Madeira is worth it and goes as smoothly as possible. We're giving a vacation to one person or one uh, couple, should I say, uh, that is on our Patreon. So uh, make sure to check out our Patreon account. I'm not gonna go on too much about it because it, uh, it is, uh, you know, that's where we're gonna do all of our cool stuff. She's gonna be trying more Katembas. I'm gonna be trying to make better Katembas. And, uh, we need more wine, actually. There's too much coke on this. <laughs> and without, with that being said, it's almost done. We've been drinking all the wine. Andre? Let's hit the road. Let's hit the road. <laughs>